Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to count the number of subatomic particles using the periodic table. So there's a few things that we need to know about the periodic table. If we look at our key here, we see that the number at the top of a box is the atomic number. And the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus. So the atomic number is what identifies the element. The number of protons is unique for every single element. So notice hydrogen has one proton, helium has two protons, and so on and so forth. So we can use protons to easily identify what element we're looking at. But if we're looking at a neutral atom, remember neutral means that there's no overall charge, then the number of protons, which has a positive one charge, should also be equal to the number of electrons which has a negative one charge. So when we look at the atomic number, we can figure out the number of protons and electrons in the atom. We also need to pay attention to the average atomic mass. The atomic mass comes from the weight of the nucleus. And remember, in the nucleus we have protons and neutrons. So the average atomic mass is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the atom. So we can easily figure out the number of neutrons by taking the average atomic mass and subtracting the atomic number. So let's practice. Let's look at something like fluorine. So fluorine has an atomic number of nine and a mass of 19. So that means that fluorine has nine protons because the atomic number is nine we're looking at a neutral atom, that means there's no charge, so there has to also be nine electrons. And then to find the number of neutrons, we're going to take the atomic mass minus the atomic number. Remember the atomic mass is the number of protons and neutrons, and the atomic number is the number of protons. So if we subtract the two of those, we should find the number of neutrons. Let's try another example together. Let's look at magnesium. Magnesium has an atomic number of 12 and an atomic mass of 24. So magnesium, it would have 12 protons and 12 electrons because the atomic number is 12 and it's a neutral atom. And the number of neutrons would be equal to the mass minus the number of protons, which would actually also be 12 in this case. Thank you so much for stopping by.